Hi there, Bruce Kingsley from BruceKModelTrains.com Back with a quick update on my Ultimate Throttle. Let's get right to it. So first on our list is the addition of a fourth locomotive, which I call the telemetry. It takes signals from the camera that pick up both rail grade, so the computer can calculate the effects of going up and down a hill and the effects on the locomotive. It also has accelerometers that will pick up the tilting of the HO locomotive as it goes down the tracks. All of this gets transmitted back to the fourth locomotive which has a computer on it as well as an XB transmitter that sends the information back to the cab to be processed. In addition to the tilt and shock telemetry I also added a device that I came up with that enables me to detect from the locomotive standpoint where I am in my layout itself that goes beyond the traditional Digitrack uh, occupancy detection. Uh, that enables me to go and create environmental sounds essentially meaning as we are going through different areas you hear through the stereo system the, the sounds in which would be outside. This can be turned on and off because in reality you would never really hear any of these sounds through the sounds of the locomotive. But it really does enhance the, the experience as you're going through the layout and you're actually hearing the different sounds around. One of the devices that use this new telemetry information is one of two large butt kicker vibration transducers, each rated at 1500 watts. The second butt kicker transducer is mounted on the separate floor section of the cab. Combined, the two are driven by a single 4,000 watt amplifier. Additionally added to create a more sense of realism of motion is this vent that you see on the bottom of the cab. It does not create a breeze like an air conditioner. It is an air stirring device and it changes the air velocity of the cab area depending on our speed. I'm also starting to make the backdrop panels with this custom made backdrops that backdrop junction made for me to go 360 degrees around the entire layout. And I put the art stick there so you can see how tall it needs to be so the camera can't see over it. So I'm going to try to do this run really quick here. I hope to do a longer video when I get the new backdrops that I have up in place. So some of the items that you're going to be hearing in this is the environmental sounds. Uh, I have a new project file from DCC Sound that they did recordings of every combination of notches. That means one to four, three to six, eight to three, on and on. So it, it fulfills a whole decoder just for the prime mover sounds itself. That added some additional complications that now I needed to make the decoder or my throttle uh, work with two uh, address slots. Uh, the original decoder which had the prime mover, I replaced it with a, a sound project that creates the cab sounds, meaning the creaks and the moans and so forth that, as the locomotive's moving. Overlaid on that, you're going to hear the sounds that are created by the large 3,000 watt butt kickers. Uh, at least you'll hear part of it. The, the, a lot of it, you can only feel it, you can't really hear it uh, as we go over different track sections relating into it. Uh, I've also enabled my throttle to pick up the Digitrack transmission of signal occupancy. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that into to this short video, but essentially what that means is as we go into areas that are occupied, the dispatcher comes over the radio to also enhance what you would hear on the signals as far as your authorization to proceed or not proceed. That's now tied in to, to reading some of the local net 
activity that is going on. And finally, I also uh, implemented dynamic brakes. Though I do not have the transition lever for it, I wound up using the over position pass idle to engage it as long as all the conditions for dynamic braking is uh, allowed and the sound files and the physics start calculating the uh, regenerative forces and able to us to slow the weapon down. Let's get going. Idle, it engaged. 
after we got a little under 10 miles an hour, it disengaged. That's it for today. Hopefully next time we'll get together, we'll have a new backdrop as well.